Hello and welcome back to War Tales, and we're now re-entering the Sinister Cave. And there was a reason for that. I actually missed talking to Captain Rovand before when we eliminated Bertram the Bandit, and I went to go and speak to him in his guard outpost. But of course, he's no longer there because he comes to speak to you. And as a result, let's speak to him and see so what he has to say. Bertram is dead. My men and the good citizens of Tiltran will be glad to hear it. I must commend you for your courage and your devotion to our cause. Here is the reward the Lady Mayoress promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Ooh, very nice. Okay, it seems like they have voices now. Actually, did did they have voices before? I don't think so, right? Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe I missed that. I have no idea. But anyway, the villagers no longer have to fear Bertram, and we've gained some influence, which is obviously going to be very nice for purchasing some additional tasks from the informant in the town. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Anyway, it is raining, unfortunately, so my people are obviously going to be eh, not, not, exactly, uh, not exactly too pleased about that. And we obviously have this guy with us as well, which means that we are still going to be attacked by those legionaries, potentially. Okay, so... Mm. Blacksmith without without an anvil. There's apparently another quest over there. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, it's not something I'm going to do right now. That's for sure. Anyway, we. Oh, the refugee leader has caught wind of your actions. He wishes to meet you in the Haven. Aha! There we go. So we've got an even more overarching story ahead of us. Very intrigued by that. Anyway, let's go into Stromcap right now because no doubt we're going to have something to do here. Uh, we do need to go and speak to the Mercenary Guild, I suppose. Um, so let's go into the inn and do that. Hello there, Emissary. Might you be looking for work? Our role as Emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. You know, I'm actually now thinking to myself that I missed out on all of their voiced lines the entire time that I did the previous episode. But maybe, maybe as I say, maybe they, they just updated that or something, because I have no clue, actually. Anyway, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. It is just being released out of early access and it is full version. Oh yeah, 1.0. Anyway. Here we go. I'm going to collect the bounty on both of these things. That's 205 and 200 respectively. Very nice indeed. And we are now going to review the various other things that we could potentially do here. So as you can see, there are um, time limits or time requirements until the next contract appears in this menu. So that means that you can't just spam quest upon quest upon quest. So that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, the Uka gang must have inconvenienced the wrong person. And now someone is willing to pay to get rid of them. All right, let's do it. This is an average difficulty, um, average difficulty quest. So not sure if we're going to be able to do it, but let's see. The deserters have invaded Pedra Mountain Mine and made it their lair. The client will let you keep whatever you find there. All right, let's do that. There we go. Ooh, that's a, that, ooh, that's very far away. Okay. Hopefully there's no time limit on any of these things. And we can also now speak to the informant as well. You'll then have to meet the client and Okay, yeah. Well, we already know kind of what this guy has to say. Now, here's the funny thing. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So now, here's the thing, yeah. So in the previous episode, we spoke to this guy, and he actually had three pieces of information. I don't think I purchased any, did I? I don't think I did. All things considered. I don't think so, did I? No, no, that's, that's, no, these are all the other things. These are, this is nothing to do with the informant itself. So I'm now thinking that indeed someone else purchased this or it was time limited. So maybe, you know, that's just how it's going to have to, how it's, how to, you know, how it's going to go. Anyway, a refugee is looking for mercenaries who can fight as well as they can negotiate. Let's buy this. I thought you might be interested. There we go. Oh, that's all the way down there as well. All right. And we're just going to leave here. And then we can see where we go next. Okay. So we've got a forge here. I'm actually wondering whether I can go in here and speak to the blacksmith. Um, because this guy obviously has stuff for buying and things like that. So it might actually make sense for us to buy some raw materials. Um, and maybe some coal as well. I mean, literally, it's very, very cheap for us to do this. So I'm thinking I might just buy all of it, actually. So yeah, I'm just going to buy all of it, and we're going to buy all of this for 100. Not sure whether it's worth me buying a huge amount of coal. Let's just get five, just in case. And yes, as you can see right here, we can now 
suggest Clay's as the new blacksmith. Reward is going to be 15 influence and a bunch of other things. Oh, and also raw materials. Oh, very nice. So yeah, let's hand him over. There he is. I asked you for a blacksmith and you bring me a refugee on the run from an Edoranian count. Oh, very well then. But he'll have to work out back. And don't you go telling anyone he's here. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. Well, that's absolutely fine. Now take this and keep your mouth shut. Okay, well, I will do that. The refugee blacksmith now works for the Stromcap villagers. And there we go. So that is now done. And we no longer have to worry about the legionaries. Or hopefully we won't have to worry about the legionaries. Let's go into the town hall real fast because we might want to speak to the mayoress herself. Are you mercenaries? I'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts. Why? You ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Erdogan is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of honest folk in need of help to fend off the refugee menace. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. Well, um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave from here. I'm gonna depart from uh, Stromcap now. Don't really need to worry about anything here. And we're gonna be making our way up to. Um, actually, you know what? What I'd, I I would actually really like to do some fishing. So I'm just gonna head over here real fast because this is a fishing spot right here. As I said to you before. I very much enjoy doing fishing. We're going to make Bread the Angler because, let's face it, his name is Bread. So I think that makes sense. Willpower plus one. That actually increases critical chance, doesn't it? I, th I think it increases critical or something like that. So he's going to be the angler here. Use a hook to cast your line in the water with this. Once the fish is hooked, hold that to keep the line tight. Okay, so now here's the thing. Um... Confession time. I am usually terrible at fishing in games. However, I really enjoy it. Okay, so if I suck here, then you know exactly why. All right, so let's do this. Um, there we go. Uh, wait, uh, there we go. Keep it, keep it, keep it in the middle. No, keep it in the middle. There we are. Oh, we did it. Fantastic. Oh, my. Okay, so we actually did it. Can't believe it, really. Really cannot believe it. That's one of those things, you know, it's one of those things where you just kind of think, hmm, very lucky indeed. Look at that. We got a perch as well. I actually wonder how much is this actually going to be in terms of food? I'm wondering how much, how lucrative it is to actually do fishing instead of just going to the marketplace and buying some bread and so on and so forth. But there you go. All right. So we did that and we've now spent our, um, our little fishing hook there as well. And I actually need to get rid of these things, to be honest. I need to get rid of the pitchfork and um, the improvised bow and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, we have, oh, okay, wait a minute. I'm going to I'm gonna quickly just speak to this merchant. I'm just going to quickly speak to the merchant because I'm going to assume that he has something for us here. So I'm actually just going to sell some stuff. So we're going to sell the farmer's pitchfork, sell this. Um, these things are not that heavy, so I'm actually not entirely sure why uh, we are... Um, <laughs> why we're so low in terms of our carry capacity but uh yeah it seems like i just need to sell some stuff here okay so wait a minute the angler's rags is this actually really good for me or no okay wait a minute let me just leave here real fast can i pause the game yeah i can actually pause the game okay so all of these guys are actually using angler's rags as you can see farmer's rag this guy's using farmer's rags so i'm actually going to just give him the new one and um, yeah, that's going to be slightly better. We've got some iron ore here as well. Damage dagger and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, so let's just speak to the merchant once again. And we'll just get rid of all of that other stuff. Got some medicine here as well. Damage dagger can sell that. And then we can just put everything else at the top here. What is this? Grease can be used to make torches. Quite handy for traveling in the dark. Okay, well, good to know. And yeah, this is actually quite effective, as you can see right here. Fish seems to give you about four food. So whenever you go into your camp, which is probably going to happen relatively soon for me, then you can obviously do that. Oh, look at this. We can actually purchase. Ooh, nice. They actually sell a huge amount of food here. So I'm thinking we're going to buy some of this. Just a little bit of it. So I have enough. I have enough money. I mean, you know, I've got 688. Not that much, but it is enough to buy a little bit of food here and there. 
and uh, I'm now almost at carry capacity, as you can see right there. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna camp right now because I'm almost done in terms of my fatigue, so it kind of makes sense to do that right now. All right, so let's have a look. Let's just do a little bit of this, a little bit of the venison as well, and might as well have some fish. Why not? Let's do that. Don't have any wages to pay to our companions. That's fine, and let's just rest. There we go. And we've obviously now reduced our weight overall as well. Okay, so our troop happiness has increased once again. We've gained some influence and we've gained the following bonus. Experience gained in combat increased by 15%. Wow, okay, that's actually going to be significant. That's going to be a pretty big bonus right there. Okay, so first of all, I want to go over here and then we're going to go all the way over to vanquish the Uka gang. And we're going to see whether we can actually defeat and indeed achieve victory in a uh, an average fight. Okay, apparently I'm going to be fighting a wolf first. Not a big fan of fighting this, but okay. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense. Okay, so it's just one wolf. Okay, one wolf. Really? Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. So we're just going to engage it in combat right here. And then uh, we're probably just we're probably going to get a super nice critical critical hit or something like that. Oh, never mind. Don't even need to do that. Look at that damage. 11 damage super, super easily. And we actually get a carcass if we want to take that. Now I'm going to take the wolf meat, I think. Pristine fang. These things don't really take up that much. Um, do I want to drop the... Well, I, I don't really want to take the carcass, all things considered. So I'm just going to... Just going to take the rest of that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, anyway. That was relatively simple. We didn't take any damage whatsoever, so that's that's quite nice. And otherwise, we're just going to be making our way on over here. Now, uh, yes, actually something I wanted to touch upon here as well. We have achieved this, discovering five locations. Now, this is something that I don't really know about, so I'm just going to click on this and see what it does. Okay, so that's all it does. It just gives me one... PP, whatever that is, and hopefully we're going to be able to find out what it does. As you can see, collect 50 resources, use three oils, all of this other stuff, throw 10 bombs. I'm not sure whether we're even going to be able to do most of that, to be honest. Throwing bombs seems like something that I'm not really um, going to do that often, but who knows? Maybe we will. And what do we have here? We have the Uka gang apparently embroiled in combat already with someone. I actually have no idea with who. If you are so inclined, you could give us a hand. But if you're just loitering about, be on your way. We'll make do without you. No, we're going to attack. We're going to attack and we're going to help you. Oh, actually, hilariously enough, you can decide whether you want to help or hinder the foot soldiers here but obviously we are going to uh, try to complete the bounty here for 225 crowns it's going to be super nice to do that so that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to attack these guys and initiate combat let's just make sure i'm doing that right because i don't want to declare war against both of them do i no that would probably be pretty bad some of the characters accompanying you are important if they die you will have to restart the battle protect them all right Okay, so, well, there's two enemies. Captain Z uh, Susan Gender is actually the, uh, the important character here, so we obviously need to make sure that she survives. Okay, so, first of all, where is... There's Wonky. All right, so Wonky is going to be headed down here, and we need to make sure that we engage. So let's go, like, something like this. I'm actually not entirely... Mm, I think my movement here was probably pretty bad. Let me actually just use this as well, just to, so that we can get some weakness on that guy. And then we will have the foot soldier move. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is exactly what we needed. Okay. That's very much perfect, because that means that both of them are now engaged. And now we don't really need to worry about them at all. Okay, so let's just move a little bit forward here. Need to make sure that we don't shoot one of our own people. 40% chance. Nope, that's looking real bad, actually. I don't really want to do that. So I am actually just going to allow them to, to move first. Nice. Okay, that was a good shot. Where is she going? <laughs> what is she doing? Please don't go over there. Please, please don't get yourself killed. That would not be too good. Okay, so let's just kill this guy. Yeah, that... that 
uh, weapon that we got in the previous episode. Absolutely amazing. Five damage to the target four times. That's 20 damage, notwithstanding any critical hits. So you can imagine that that is going to be absolutely incredible. Really, really going to be good. Okay, so let's just move over here. And we'll do some damage. Oh, that was some damage. If only we got a critical hit, that would have been amazing. But yeah, we're pretty fine with all of our stuff. And uh, let's see what this guy decides to do now as well. Oh, going for the AoE. Going for the AoE poison. Well, that's actually not even bad because we're going we're gonna to be done now. You know, we are completely fine. There we have it. I don't think the poison... Is the poison going to gonna actually um, persist? I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't persist. Okay, well, whatever the case, there's some human remains. There's also a dagger here. I guess we'll take it. And we can also repair all of this stuff, which is exactly what we're going to do. And we've also gotten some level ups, which is fantastic. So let's see what we have to choose here. Okay, here we go. So now we have the opportunity to choose Glory's specialization. And that means, do we want to go for Hunter, Beastmaster, or Infantryman? What does Beastmaster do? All allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. Hmm, okay, not that good for me, right now at least. Barrage, perform performs an attack of opportunity against the three first enemies crossing the area. Okay, so that's like Overwatch. That could be really, really powerful actually. And recoil shot deals eight to 12 damage to the target, knocks them back by two meters and applies slowdown for one round. That could be really useful actually for for like, uh, you know, kiting and skirmishing if uh, if Glory is by himself. But I don't know. I think I'm actually going to go for Barrage here, even though it does cost us to... Do you want... Oh, wait. Uh, to become... Yes, to become an infantryman. Yes, yes, infantryman. I mean, I don't want to change um, what kind of weapons he uses. Hopefully, that's not going to... No, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, so that's absolutely fine. So he's going to become that. And uh, we can change his movement or we can increase his critical chance once again. I'm actually not entirely sure why we would want to increase his movement because it seems like his movement's pretty decent right now. So I'm just going to go for a little bit more critical hit. And that's, that's that done. And now Bread can also advance to level two. So we can now select his thing too. Okay, so we got Piercing Throw here. Deals six damage to all units in the area. Applies bleeding to the first unit hit. I always love a damage over time effects. So that's looking pretty fun. But only six damage to enemies. Mm, not sure if that's that good. And aha, Rallying Cry seems very powerful. Damage of the next attack increased by 50% to all allies in the area. Okay, yeah, that's, in my opinion, that's gonna be so much more effective than anything else he can take. At least I think so. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, target to a specific area. When an enemy enters the area, performs one attack of opportunity and stops them in their tracks. That could be very useful for defensive purposes, but I'm gonna be taking the rallying cry thing. That sounds like a much better idea. And we're going to go for, um, I guess, more critical. I guess more critical. There we go. I think that sounds pretty decent for me right now. And there we have it. Okay, so we vanquished them, which is very nice. And now let's just take a quick look at where we can go. Okay, so let's just go... Let's go over here. And we'll just go along the road for the moment. I think we'll go along the road and we'll see what we actually encounter. Because uh, I, that's the thing. Do we want to go across here? And then make our way down to the refugee leader, for example. That might make sense. Yeah, maybe it would be a better idea to do that. So I think we'll probably do that in the end. I'm just picking up something. There's a bunch of resources on the floor. And obviously you're going to want to pick those up as much as you can. Because that's going to so incredibly help you to craft things. You know, crafting, you know, fishing line and so on and so forth. Because let's face it, you know, getting uh, fishing hooks and everything... And being able to get fish, specifically, is very helpful indeed, as you could already tell. Alright, so yeah, I'm actually going to make my way this way. And we're going to get around, hopefully... Yeah, I, I mean, I'd like to do this. Oh, look at that. The difficulty is now easy on this. So that must mean that because we've leveled up a little bit more, they've kind of recalculated how difficult that task is and that may that maybe means that i would be able to do some of the harder quests 
um, a lot easier now. So I'm very much looking forward to that too. I should really go into camp and actually make some fishing hooks next time around as well. Ooh, what's this? There's actually a building in the uh, in the vicinity over here that I've not uncovered yet. I'd like to check that out. It's so funny as well because in this game, everything seems... It, it seems like a small area. I mean, look at this. It seems like a small area, but there's so much stuff in it that you just kind of think, wow, what's going on here? Oh, look at this. Tiltron Jail is what we've just uncovered. Okay, and we've also got a knowledge point here. So what do we want to go for? Movement speed in the world increased by 5%. I mean, I think I'm probably going to be taking that. It seems, we seem pretty slow right now, so I'm probably going to be going for that. Uh, let's, go, let's go into the jail. Let's go into the jail and see what's up here. Okay, hello there, sirs. Hello, bear. Can I actually speak to the bear? How did it end up here? <gasps> we can adopt a bear? Oh, I should have taken the Beastmaster. I should have taken the Beastmaster skill, uh, skill uh, specialization. That would have been so fun. Let's adopt the bear. There we go. Oh my, I had no idea that you could do that. Okay, that's actually incredible. That is so fun. Whoa, deals that much damage. If already engaged in combat, this unit gains relentless. After attacking, this unit executes an attack of opportunity. How much HP does this guy have? 176, how much P What? This thing has 176 HP and my guys have 20. Wow, okay. When this unit should die, it gains Berserk and survives. If it already has Berserk, it dies. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this is actually incredible. Okay, we're gonna call this, um... Yogi. Yogi Bear. Right? There we go, everyone approves. Fantastic. Okay, oh my, look at the constitution on this thing! What is this? Okay, yeah, let's just upgrade its constitution even further. This is absolutely incredible. Never would have expected that. We can actually recruit some more people as well if we so desire. Not sure whether I want to do that. Um, do I? Uh, maybe. Uh, what, is, what is this guy all about? He has an axe. He has these, these things. Uh, deal 4 to 5 damage to the target if they have less than 50% health left. Is this a passive thing? No, doesn't seem like it. I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, he is level two. He has um, some... Wow, he literally has zero, zero chance to critically hit, which I'm not a big fan of. His wages are 13, which is not that bad. He is a warrior. Oh, we also got this person as well. I don't think we can actually recruit her or anything like that. She's way too strong, as you can quite clearly tell. She's part of the guards. And... Oh, there's another guy down here. I didn't even realize. This guy's a swordsman. He has 5% critical hit chance. He is a drunkard. He's a vegetarian. That's funny. Must eat fruit or vegetables at every meal to be satisfied. Okay, well, that might... Oh, and he was also consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. Okay, not a big fan of that. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's get this guy just because he d he's not so picky in regards to all of his happiness issues. And uh, I'm going to recruit him. Let's recruit him straight up. There we go. Fantastic. Your companions are happy. Okay, well, that's nice to know. Okay, so this guy can also level up. And he can also choose his specialization almost immediately, which is actually hilarious. All allies engaged in combat gain repost. The next time this unit is attacked by their engaged opponent, they attack in return with an attack of opportunity. That actually sounds really good, but it does cost two valor points. Not sure if that's that useful. Deal three damage to all the units in the area. Attack one time for each unit in the target area. Okay, not a big fan of that. Deal three times more, two to four damage to the target. Gain fury. Uh-huh. Triggered of this ability lands a critical hit. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of that either. I'm going to go for Sentinel, I think. I think that sounds like a much better idea. Let's try to get his critical hit chance up a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, he's got some... Eh... Not particularly good stuff. Can I actually give him this dagger? I, I want someone to be able to use this dagger. I've got two of them now, actually. So it would really be good if we could, um, you know, try to get people doing that. I'm going to call him something different. We're going to call him... Uh, a, I, I don't know. Uh, warrior... 
uh, it's got to be some kind of stupid name, okay? It has to be a stupid name, like bread, for example, and wonky. So it has to be something along those lines. Um, warrior of the... Oh, are you serious? There's not enough space? Okay, fine. We're going to call him... Why do I always think of food? I always think lettuce and stuff. Oh, okay, we're, we're not going to do that. We'll just do something like evil... Uh, uh, bonk. Done. Oh, look at that. There we go. The other companions approve. That's absolutely fantastic that they approve of evil bonk. Great. Yeah, I mean, technically he was in jail, so I, I you know... Pff. I, I don't know what he's in there for, you know, he could be evil, we don't know, but yeah, I thought that was rather amusing. Anyway, so there is a quest apparently there. Oh yeah, I could probably have spoken to the guard or something like that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe we'll return there at a later point, because we do have a bunch of other things with which we can uh, occupy our time. Okay, so what do we have here? What is this guy? He seems like, uh, oh, this is an elite. Okay, um, I'm actually not entirely sure. Should we, should we attack the elite? I don't know. Let's just very quickly take a look here. Location markers. Your companions are ready to fight and shine with glory on the battlefield. Increase your, your valor points. Your companions are honing their criminal skills. Yeah, okay. And not really any of that. What, what else do we have available here? I can learn saddlebags, which increases my carry capacity. That might actually be really useful. It's an animal accessory, uh, but I need to craft that. That's the that's the main problem. I'm not actually at a crafting station right now, but I can do that potentially in my camp. So let's learn saddlebags. Do I have any more? No, I don't have any more knowledge points. So this is actually an elite. Um, yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay, let's let's actually go in. Let's actually go in and see this guy. I have killed them all. Okay, um, Ma Matthias, Ma Matthias, Matthias Lund. Uh, apparently, he wants to avenge someone and i don't blame him he's a champion wanted for a string of murders Ma matthias lund is a dangerous individual he's only level one it says i'm now i'm now wondering whether that's actually true or whether i am about to walk into what could be considered certain death elites are unique enemies who can act oh no are you serious who can act more than once during a turn. Play co co close attention to the turn order in order to prepare your strategy. <sighs> okay, this is going to be very... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. This guy is actually very, very harsh. Okay, well, we're... How much damage does he do? He has 27 strength. Oh, wait. Lucila is his, is his literal weapon. Okay. He literally has a 109% critical chance. Are you serious right now? Okay, I think I might be dead here, actually. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve victory against this guy, but I could if I use Weakening Blow, okay? I, I might be able to win if I use Weakening Blow. So we're just going to attack normally here. Going to get him engaged in... Actually, engagement doesn't seem to work. Can I use Weakening? Yes, I can. Okay, so we can actually use Weakening... That is all I needed to know. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's see what he decides to do. He's going to use judgment. Okay. Um, yeah, now I'm now I'm kind of worried. Uh, now, now I'm super worried, actually. Now I'm very, very worried. Okay, so let's just continue to deal some damage here. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, wait. Can I actually move away from that? I don't think I can, right? I don't think so. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay, so the mud is obviously a bit of an issue there as well. Yeah, this guy is making things very difficult for us. Okay, yeah, so he's going to actually attack. Okay, 20 damage. That would have done 40 damage if he wasn't weakened, okay? That would have done 40 damage otherwise. Okay, so he's going to target bread now. Is he still weakened, by the way? Uh, yeah, three turns? St really? Still three turns? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm pretty happy with that then. Okay, so let's go over here. Just going to try and deal massive damage. Yeah, there we go. Take, take that. We barely did anything. Yes. Okay, so he's going to do 23 damage. Almost killed bread there. 
Okay, uh, oh, okay, so my bear is actually not commandable. So the bear literally just goes and does whatever. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, so I can't even fire against this guy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just have to end the turn. Okay, so he's going to target us, but this is actually fine, because what we can do is we can actually move away... Well, well, we can move move out of it with Marvin here. So let's actually do that. Can I actually move away? I mean, I can. He's gonna move with this. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's gonna he's he's trying to kill Evil Bonk right now. A dying unit can only move if you heal them before they take damage. They will be able to fight again. If not, they will be permanently lost. Okay, well that's that's great. Good to know. Thanks very much. Okay, so if I can go over here and stabilize him, then we should be good. I've got first aid, as you can see, so let's use that. Okay, uh, we can't attack, which is not exactly good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Bread is going to die, I believe. Um, maybe I can do something here, actually. We're going to try taunting. Uh, how many Valor points do I have remaining? I can't actually see. It doesn't seem like it tells me right now. Um, okay. I don't have anything else. So I can only hope that... Okay, they're both dying. Well, that's not good. Okay, the bear is coming in. Okay, it doesn't do as much damage as I, as I hoped, to be honest. Okay, so Marvin doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, he also has nothing to... Oh dear, it seems like bread is going to die. Well, this is bad. Okay, we're going to have to move, but again, I am not within range. I am just not within range, and I can't... Uh, it's the mud. It's the mud that's actually causing me uh, to have problems here, so... Can't really do much about that. Okay, he's actually targeting other people now. Um, I, well, that's the thing. I can't really do much here. I, I literally cannot do much. So we're going to have to... Um, I mean, I can move him, but I mean, literally, he can barely move anywhere. So this is bad. Okay, yeah. Wonky is now going to... Can we retreat from this, actually? I, I don't even know whether we can. I mean, that's the funny thing. I think I might have been able to achieve victory. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We can actually flee this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Your group is overtired. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Let's repair everyone. And we can't heal them. I don't have enough medicine to be able to do that. Um, but we can go into the campfire here. And we can actually heal everyone. Or try to heal everyone as much as we possibly can. Let's just do this. There we go. Let's have everyone rest. I'm not sure whether that's going to restore their um, their injuries and everything. I don't think it would. Um, no, it doesn't seem like it does. Okay, wait a minute. This guy actually has some... He wants to talk to us. Sometimes I wish we could stop somewhere and settle down. We could become the local mercenaries, build homes, relationships. I'm tired of traveling. All right, well, uh, actually, that might be pretty fun. Um, yeah, why not? Suggested by Evil Bonk. Daydream. Dream of all sorts of adventures. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to heal my people. So how do I actually do that? Injuries. Treat injury. Can no longer be chosen to complete tasks. Okay, so let's... Uh, there we go. So use medicine to heal. There we go. Okay, so we did that. Let's heal this guy. Uh, he, constitution reduced by half. Well, that's pretty terrible. Willpower reduced by half. Let's just do that. There we go. And damage halved. There we go. Okay, so I don't have any more medicine, unfortunately. But I should be able to get some quite soon. Not that soon, but quite soon. At least I hope so. And uh, yeah, I don't want to choose the profession, actually. I just want to use this uh the saddleback okay so i don't have leather and i don't have cloth i actually thought i had both of those but that's okay because we can actually just create 
some fish hooks. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Anyway, you know, because fishing is always useful in some way or another. And there we have it. Okay, so we've obviously now experienced our first elite fight. And it's actually not even that much. It feels to me like it's not that difficult, okay? It feels not too difficult, but the reason why we had hard times is just generally because my forces are not very good. Let's just say that. They're not very high level at the moment. But that doesn't mean that it's going to remain that way, of course. But we now have the opportunity to... Uh, potentially come back here at some point in the future and then we might be able to vanquish him and get that two-handed mace maybe we're going to be able to uh, you know pillage the two-handed mace from him and uh, we might be able to use it ourselves which would actually be really really cool anyway what's this what is this over here this is the old lighthouse there is a quest in here by the looks of things aha okay we got some hoodlums and poachers okay let's do it why not Let's go in and fight, see whether we can redeem ourselves a little bit here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, these hoodlums, th th this is much more along my, uh, my level, isn't it? Yes, this is much, much better for me. Okay, so Wonky, you're going to just go over here. And we're just going to do some damage. There we go. Okay, so this poacher hopefully is, yeah, I mean, literally... Good luck killing this bear, really. Good luck killing the bear. You are going to... You're, you're never really going to be able to kill the bear. No offense. Because, literally, it does so much damage. I mean, well, it can take so much damage. And it also does so much damage. Or it should do, at least. Let's, let's actually hope and see what, what, hap what happens with that. Because I think it would be a lot of fun to see the bear in action. I mean, there are no picnic baskets anywhere else about here. So, it might not be... Um, that motivated, but who knows? Ooh, I was hopeful for a critical there, but no such luck. This guy's got a dagger as well. I actually feel like the fact that the bandits all have poisonous weapons is very, ooh, it's, it's super harsh to deal with, but yeah, well, can't do much about that. Okay, Evil Bonk is actually going to get his first kill here. Actually, is he? He needs to be right next to them to be able to do that. Okay, there you go. Everyone's galvanized now as well, which is very nice for Glory's next turn, as well as our bear, of course. Look at that, 17 damage, literally just from a regular swipe. That is that is pretty incredible. And I could also use this if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to push this guy back. Boom, 17 damage from Glory right there. Wow, okay, that's pretty incredible. Wonky's going to get attacked a little bit. Nothing really to worry about there. As you can see, the armor is still protecting her. And we should be fine. There we go. All right, let's do this. 100% chance. Boom. Nice little kill there. And I think I think we should be absolutely fine. It's I mean, literally, the bear is taking such minimal damage. I'm actually very surprised that they're not concentrating on Marvin some more. Because I would have expected that. But they really... They really are not. Your opponents are demoralized and flee. Do you want the, you do you want to let them go and win the battle? Sure. Why not? I think that sounds like a decent idea. There we go. Okay, so let's repair. We can't heal Evil Bonk just yet. During the next rest, you'll have to pay your companions 66. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. They've got some lockpicks here, as well as Outlaw's Tabard. Ooh, hello. That seems pretty nice. Got some new armor there. And we'll give that to Marvin. Why, why can't he wear that? Marvin cannot equip light armor. Oh. Why can't he equip light armor? Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Ah, it's because he hasn't leveled up yet. Ah, I see. Now he can. Okay, so let's do... Uh, hmm. I guess we'll do spear wall this time. He can become the pikeman. He can equip medium armor, actually, amusingly enough. And we'll just give him some more wheel power here as well. There we go. So, can he equip that now? Yes, he can. So now he can equip that. That's fantastic. Okay, very nice indeed. Alright. And uh, we are now here in the old lighthouse. Is there anything for me to... Aha! Yes, indeed. There is, in fact, a chest. Nope. N no. Okay, I have no clue.
I did it. Whew, okay, that is harsh. That is really, really harsh. Anyway, there we go. Uh, he has now advanced in rank to become a uh, an apprentice thief. That's very cool as well. And we also gained some cheese, some cherries, and some sardines. I mean, how can I say no to that, right? Oh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's quite some treasure there, is it not? Yes, indeed. Okay, so I seem to have looted everything here, and now we can move on once again. Anyway, uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you would like to check out War Tales, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.